When the bars and restaurants in Putin Bay close at the end of summer, you might think the entire island just shuts down. But a couple hundred hardy year-round islanders in western Lake Erie stay put. As winter sets in, eventually even the ferries shut down, and the only way off and on is by plane. School children on South Bass Island have their own school, but the handful of kids on North and Middle Bass Islands are flown down to Putin Bay each day, and in some cases to the mainland to attend technical school. And while most teachers live on the islands, a few fly into work as well. We sent our cameras along for a day to see what it's like for those making the trek. On the winter, it's a six minute flight. It's seven miles from Putin Bay to Port Clinton. It's flying ice fishermen. I bring over the groceries. The milk days are heavy days. It's a lot of lifting. I bring over uh, the hardware store stuff and produce and uh, supplies. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a lifeline. It's the only way on and off. Pretty much all during the week I fly the, the teachers, uh, or there's, our kindergarten teacher lives on the mainland. And so Monday through Friday I fly her from the mainland. Um, we have two students right now from the island that go to the tech school. Um, so I fly them over in the morning, I bring the teacher back. Sometimes there's guidance counselors and superintendents or other you know, speech teachers or whatever other administrators that come. When you see someone every day, even if it's only for six minutes at a time, you still, you still build a relationship. On top of knowing most of them, you know, I know the, the kids, I know their families, I know their parents. I, I mean, I'm their pilot. It's, they, you get to know them. My, my name is Max Schneider. I am in 10th grade, and I live over on Middle Bass Island. When I first wake up, you know, go down, eat breakfast, get uh, changed into my normal school clothes, uh, hop in a car, we go down to the airport, hop in the plane, fly over to the bay, get in a taxi, come to school, and go you know, do your classes. Good morning, Putin Bay. Students of grade 7 through 12, if you haven't returned your signed report card, please turn that in after lunch to Randy. And for the Panthers, PIB Panthers will leave at 2.45 to play the Montpelier at Kirsten Thunder. Go Panthers! Oh, it's that's our bell. We're the smallest public school in Ohio. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we have 81 students, pre-K through 12. Average class is about a half dozen to eight students. And so uh, that makes us unique. The kids and the teachers here maybe take it for granted because they don't know any other way. This school is a throwback to 50 years ago when, um, you know, the teachers just did whatever they could to you know, make the school operate. It's, it wasn't like, oh, that's not my job or that's not my in my job description. Here, it, the mindset was totally different. So the first question is, Lisbon is the capital city of the European country of? Middle Bass is our home. That's where our family history is. And when people ask me about coming to work here, oh, that must be difficult to travel by boat or to travel by plane, I always say to them, if I didn't love it, I wouldn't do it. Really, to live here, you have to love it. And you have to be ready for the times when you can't get to the mainland for an event. Or uh, you, you have to plan to stay a few nights because the weather is going to be bad. I mean, there are so many factors. But there are so many wonderful benefits to it. I mean, look where we live. Because we are such a small school, there's not a large population of students, so they maybe don't have some of that awareness that there are other people like them out there. Them, like my son is very into computers, and there are other kids that are into computers, but not nearly like he is. Generally, in my free time. Uh, I do a lot of gaming, occasionally like any you know teenager would. Um, but I also write code, so I'll program things like video games, or you know basic calculators to do my math homework. Um, you know anything that can make life easier, or things I find interesting. I like going here. Yeah, it's nice. You know, it's it's nice. Quite everybody knows you. You know, and you know everybody. Um, you know, like I said, my class is only three, so we get a lot of undivided attention from our teachers, right. which is nice. You know, it's more personalized. Well, living on the island, um, I really don't get to hang out with a lot of the kids a lot because I'm usually, you know, back in Middle Bass and you can't hang out when there's a mile of uh, water between you. I mean, not that I'm saying I'm alone or anything, but, you know, it's just, that's always what I've known, you know. 
Also, please be here Saturday to see the Panther program play. Action starts at 815. Thank you. Yeah, I love going to school here. I like how it's small. I mean, sometimes it would be nice to live here just so that I could do stuff, like a lot more stuff with my class, but I like living on Middle Bass. I'm in Computer Club, which runs the school website, and I'm in Environmental Club. I'm in cheerleading so I can hang out with them sometimes. The basketball team's nice. Thank you for the folks from our opponent today and for bringing milk to the island. We are appreciative. As long as this uh, island is, you know, successful and viable and business is good, there's always going to be families that live here. And uh, I think there'll be a school here for a long time. So I, I foresee both of them going off to college and whether or not they choose to come back We'll wait and see. It is, it is their choice whether or not they return. If they come back, certainly we'd welcome them. We'd love to have them back. But I also want them to go out and to experience other environments and really make sure that this is where they want to live. I'm not sure if I'm going to be on the island or not from the rest of my life. I mean, I might come back here after I retire. But um, the way it's looking with my job, you know, and programming and all that, because that's what I want to go into. I could work from home and just live over here, you know, 24-7, 365, which would be nice. But, you know, I'd, I would like to get out and kind of, you know, explore and have the freedom of you know, being on the mainland. But I'm sure I'll eventually come back to the island, yeah.